My name is Eric Waller, and I'm a parts manager with H&E Equipment, and also a martial artist. My studio's name is Eric's Martial Arts. I have been doing martial arts for 13 years. I started when I was 15, and my girlfriend at the time, which is now my wife, got me involved. It just kind of stuck with me. This is Hop Keto. I have been teaching for probably around 10 years. I started out as an assistant instructor with Keith Stockwell mm -hmm. and took over two and a half years ago uh, to be the head instructor for this particular location. Hop Keto comes from Korea. Um, similar to Taekwondo, um, kind of the same birthplace from uh, that a lot of styles actually came from. Hapkido varies from others due to the fact that it's more of a, a self-defense style. It's not a lot of show. Um, it's not a, a really a sport art. It's more of a real-life self-defense style. Uh, his name was Keith Stockwell. Uh, when I first started with him, he was a fourth-degree black belt. Um, he had been doing martial arts at the time for roughly 20 years. He's kind of a bigger guy, tougher guy, of course, being the instructor. Oh, he's a goofball. He's just, he's seriously a big goofball. Discipline is good, but I think being laid back and being a little bit more easygoing, uh, people can kind of be themselves in class. Uh, so, yeah, pretty much laid back. Keeping a relaxed feel, I think, keeps keeps people at ease just a little bit more. They're not so tense or worried, you know, really about what's going to happen throughout the class or or when they're talking to people before and after class. But having that relaxed feel, I think, just gives people an, an easier feeling. Um, they're not stressed or, uh, or worried about anything. I, myself, am a kid at heart, and I probably always will be. Uh, I am completely immature at times when I can be around certain people, but I'm professional when I have to be. My name is Clint Drysdale. I am currently a third degree black belt. Um, I'm an assistant instructor for Eric. I have known Eric since I've been in martial arts, mar martial arts, which has probably been about 12 or 13 years. I got started just driving by the building and just decided that looks like, you know, good exercise. I just mainly joined for exercise just to kind of better myself. My inspiration now is with the way everything's going nowadays, um, just knowing I can protect my family and myself, you know, in case anything ever did happen. I think him being the instructor, it's give a whole new challenge to things. Um, it's just took me to a new level. I think everybody to a new level. I am Tyler Hoffman. I am a second degree black belt. I have known Eric for, man, I want to say maybe almost 13, 14 years now. Uh, I keep coming to class because it's something I love. I've done it for many years of my life. It's just part of who I am. Eric is a very silly guy. As if you want to put it that way, he, he can joke around in class. Sometimes we joke around maybe a little too much. Um, after a while, when you when you take the turn from a student to a teacher or an instructor, um, it, it kind of just becomes part of who you are, uh, and it's just the drive to. Just to teach people uh, advanced techniques and to just watch people grow uh, is really why I, I truly enjoy doing it. Just seeing kids blossom from, from shy, shy kids that don't say a word to ones that you just can't get to stop talking. Um, watching people grow as far as their self-esteem um, to where they become... 
a little more self-conscious and their confidence levels grow. Just kind of seeing all those in, in a similar aspect, keep me doing it from day to day. I love it. Uh, it's truly a gift, really. Wouldn't want to do anything else. Eric, put the gun away. Go ahead. I promise I'm doing this interview at gunpoint, just so you guys know. 